Hey guys, it is me and I am here alone today. Garrison is napping and if I keep putting off recording, I will never have this done for you guys. So today is all about my three months postpartum update. Um, I know I haven't given an update since six weeks, but it kind of seemed like too much extra to do one at two months. So I decided to go ahead and just extend it to three months. So here I am. Um, let's start with Garrison, how much he's changed. Um, when I was pregnant, you know, prior to being pregnant, pregnant, I had never been around a baby under 12, 12 months. So I had no expectations of like how quick they develop or how things are going to be new. I just had no idea. So with that being said, um, it's amazing. <laughs> it is amazing to see how much my son is growing and developing every day. Every day he's doing something that just blows my mind and it's just so absolutely adorable and all right, so um, he is standing. He can stand and hold his own weight. He can bounce and jump. Um, of course, with you assisting him, he can't just stand. Um, sometimes he has, but he can't just stand and pull himself up. He's not at that stage, but he definitely can hold all of his weight um, on his tummy. He can lift himself up onto his elbows and lift his lower torso up as well as his head at 90 degrees um, he has not rolled over yet from his back to his stomach nor from his stomach to his back um, I'm not really sure when that's gonna happen he's really strong in all these other areas but it doesn't seem like he's ready to roll over yet uh, let's see what else he has figured out how to suck his thumb um, he's teething my poor baby is teething. He started at around two months, which is about eight weeks, um, seven weeks, eight weeks. I start realizing that he was irritable. Um, he hadn't broken fever or anything like that, but everything that you put near him, he wanted to put in his mouth. And I didn't really you know, understand what that was. At first I was like, are you hungry? But he was teething. Um, our doctor confirmed it for us at his two months uh, visit and let's see he hasn't broken any teeth yet but you can see them under his gums and it's his bottom two teeth so he is gnawing on everything like trying to put his whole fist in his mouth it's adorable but it's messy so he's constantly got to keep a cloth diaper with him to absorb all of this drool like the little boy drools will like ruin an outfit in like two seconds um it's so cute but you don't want to not give him a cloth and have somewhere to go that's all i have to say uh let's see what else awesome is my son doing he is cooing if he hears music that doesn't have lyrics he will coo like he's singing um it's different than his conversational cooing and yes my son holds conversations i don't know what he's saying but if you ask him something he replies if you talk to him he replies he talks to me and there's pauses in it but when there's music and his instrumentals he coos like he's singing and singing is a big thing in our house my husband and i sing all the time so it's really beautiful to see that oh oh my god you guys he is giving you gut laugh, like guttural laugh, and just chuckling, and he's so tickled. Um, it's so sweet. Like, the first time he did it, my husband and I both shed tears. It was just the sweetest, most precious sound I've ever heard in my life. Your own child laughing, you know, it's just, you, you do everything you can to try to get him to do it over with, and now I just totally see why my parents and why parents are just so over the top in love with their children they are so sweet uh, what else is G baby doing he's getting so big you guys he is last time we went to the doctors he was 12 pounds so I'm assuming he's probably about 13 plus at this point um, just solid and just thick and just a little butterball uh, he is such a character. His personality is shining more and more every day. He is just the love of my life. 
I love him so much and he's doing excellent. Everything he's supposed to be doing, he is doing. Um, the deadline for rolling over the first term is at the end of three months. He should be doing that. So I'm not going to worry about it at this point. And of course, it's nothing to worry about. Um, mm, he's grabbing for things. He can put his hands together and like he's exploring his hands with his hands. Um, he's grabbing for items. He will grab for things. So he's starting to do his eye-hand coordination. Sometimes when he actually touches the item he's going for, you can see the shock in his face. Like, did I do that? It's really interesting. Um, what else? I think that's about it with Garrison. Now, for me, okay, let's start with my C-section. I had a C-section. And I would say I am in the clear as far as pain. Like, you know, you sometimes still get sharp pains. Now I'm more just kind of itchy some days on my scar. Not as much as I was when it really first started healing, but some days I still have those itchy, like, sensations. So I just scratch it. Um, I started light work. I started working out again. I've even went to the gym once to get more of an intense workout with a girlfriend of mine. Uh, it's a really cool video I did over on my beauty and um, fashion channel. I'll put the link for that in the description box if you want to see the stuff that we did in the gym. I was pretty impressed considering that I had not been in a gym and fully worked out like muscles in forever. Over a year. You got to think. Nine months you're pregnant and then, you know, I hadn't gone prior to that and did any weights. I was just going and doing cardio and like, um, uh, like just basic stuff nothing strenuous so it was really nice to see how far I have to go and how far I've already come so that was really really impressive for myself um, the thing that really like concerned me was my epidural where I got my epidural in my back I would sometimes like have aches back there not cramping but aching and I've never really had aching in my body and that's a very uncomfortable feeling um it would feel like i've been standing too long or something like that those things have subsided now that i'm into my three months postpartum but i had those between my six weeks and two months it was it was intense at times um it my epidural hurt more than postpartum my epidural hurt more than my c-section scar which is really odd because i was actually cut in my stomach and i was just stuck but it really is tender so if you experience that let me know because I experienced it and I really didn't have anybody to ask if that's normal so I just assumed it was normal uh, let's see what else so Garrison is exclusively breastfed he has not even had a bottle okay when I say this boy has only been on the tip he has only been on the tip but why did I start my period yeah that's exactly what I thought if you breastfeed exclusively, you shouldn't start your period. I started my period last month. Yeah, and I think I'm getting ready to come on again. We will see. Some moms that I've asked this about, they said that you can start your cycle. Like if he increases in his feeding or something like that, your cycle might get triggered and come on. But why do I feel so robbed? I mean, my feelings were so hurt. When I was on my cycle, I just knew that I had a whole nother year. I'm going to breastfeed exclusively. I'm going to pump whatever I got to do. No period. Uh, yeah, wrong. I got it. And uh, we're going to pray that it doesn't come back this month. Okay, so I got my cycle. I talked to you about working out. I talked about my C-section scar, which is doing wonderful. Let's see. I talked about Garrison. Oh, I'm going to talk to you guys about my appetite. Oh my God, I eat like a grown man, okay? I used to be able to get away with eating once a day and being completely fine with that, and it's not healthy, but I did it. Now, I have to get up and make breakfast. I have to eat snacks and lunch, and I definitely have to have dinner. Like, I wake up hungry. It's not cool. Breastfeeding it all makes sense okay you have a baby you have all this extra weight you breastfeed your baby which in returns cause you to burn more calories your uterus uterus to contract 
God is amazing in how he created this all to work out. I am pre-pregnancy weight. I'm back to my pre-pregnancy weight. Um, except for in the bus area. I'm still large there, of course. I'm carrying life in my chest, literally. But um, my stomach's back flat. Um, my boobs are still humongous. I cannot wait, and I really pray that they will go back when all this breastfeeding is done. Ah, uh, I got one more thing to add. Postpartum shedding with your hair. Oh, I have two more things to add. Okay. Postpartum shedding is the truth. I don't, when you hear women who say they didn't experience it, I want to know how they didn't experience it. I know that certain areas are prone to like if you get an epidural versus if you go natural, things like that. But I've been shedding here, like receding hairline. It was really bad. It's starting to kind of fill back in there. But when I tell you guys my hair is literally coming out as if I was on chemo, it is scary. Um, every time I comb, it's literally at least 10 to 20 strands that are like from the root with the hair bulb on it that are coming out of my head. And that's one swipe of the comb. Each time I swipe the comb, that much of my hair is coming out. It is um, disheartening to say the least because I was really enjoying having all this full gorgeous hair, but it's all good. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm healthy and this is part of pregnancy. So yes, I am experiencing postpartum shedding. I also experienced a lot of postpartum acne and it was exactly in your hormone spot. So I had it on my jawline and on my cheeks. Um, I went to a dermatologist. There wasn't much I can do considering that I'm breastfeeding. So I have really just made sure I've increased my water intake. Like, I am drinking almost a gallon of water a day. Yes, I am. I've also started a new facial clean, cleaning process. Um, I wash mornings and evenings. I tone mornings and evenings. And then um, oh, I'm washing with Cetaphil and a Clarisonic brush. So that's a soft exfoliant, but the Clarisonic brush, uh, brush that I actually have on my Clarisonic is for deep pore cleaning. Um, and then I tone. And I tone what it kills like really gentle toner it's, it doesn't really have like acne or anything in it it just helps get your pH balance back on your skin and I am doing um, every other day I'm doing this um, my my blemishes have have stopped so I'm not getting any more like acne I'm not getting any more bumps right now I just have like severe scarring well not severe but I have like scarring in those spots so I am using this Kills um, spot treatment that takes away dark spots and you can use it anywhere in your body. It's safe. So I do that every other day, morning and evening, so those every other days. And then I am also doing um, like a, a micro abrasion exfoliant. It's an exfoliant. It's also from Kills, and um, I do that once a week. So between all of those things and I always end with moisturizing my skin, my skin has done a 180 completely. Um, I have no like bumps. I just have scarring here and when I tell you since I moved to Tennessee I've had bad skin and I've never really had to suffer with skin problems but I realized that regardless if I wear makeup or not I have to wash my face morning and evenings. Um, I definitely have to wash my face when I'm wearing makeup such as now. I will be washing my face this evening. Um, those things are just all part of the process you just have to learn your skin like so much changes in your body after having a baby but it does slowly but surely start to teeter down and come back to normality so I talked about both of our changes and growths and developments and things like that but I also want to talk about being a mom and, and the changes you go through as you grow with your child as your child is growing and developing we're growing and developing and the things that I've experienced over these last three months are amazing to say the least i i love being a mom like we're already talking about having a second like it's that serious for us i cannot be any more happy with the job of being a mother uh, i spend time with my son and just being able to be home with him it's such a blessing so i'm truly grateful for my husband and 
being in a position where I can be at home with him, that that is such an important job. And you should never, ever, if you're a stay-at-home mom and you're struggling with it, don't. It is such a blessing. Find the beauty in it. Um, I talk to my girlfriends who have to work, or I've, I've had girlfriends who have children who are older now, and I remember them having to juggle so much and missing these small but major milestones in your baby's life. Yes, my son's not walking, he's not crawling, those are major, he's not talking. But to see the small stuff and see him do it when he does it for the first time is priceless. I could not trade that in for the world, and I'm extremely grateful and um, indebted to my husband for allowing me to be able to stay home and working so hard to provide for our family. So, all right, enough of that. I'm off my soapbox on that. But I love being a mommy. I love the responsibility and I just wouldn't trade it for the world. So, I think that's it for my three months update. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So, I will see you guys. If I don't see you at four months, I will see you at five months. It depends. I'll let you know if he's done anything drastic with it within this next month to come back and talk about. I will see you guys soon for these postpartum videos, but I will see you soon for other stuff on my channel. So have a good day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.